All right, now, Trinity Thomas, we weren't sure she was going to compete at all. And she drilled a landing on bars after having suffered an injury two weeks ago to her lower leg. She is poised to go on fault, which is an unlikely choice considering she had a lower leg injury. They left it all up to Trinity. Jenny Rowland said it is, if Trinity says she's good to go, they give her the green light. It's all up to her. And this one and a half twist has been spectacular in the past. She has scored a 10 on this ball, but her training has been limited. Okay, yeah, she knows oh. a little bit of scoop back. It was so close, but oh, oh my, my gosh, I'm gonna bring this out again. <laughs> These are Teflon coated diamond studded beasts <laughs> because th the strength, the courage. It's unreal actually. The it's tenacity and then the brilliance. The combination of these qualities just bring tears to my eyes actually. So hot. Oh, look at that. Four and a half feet off the ground. And she usually goes higher. And yet, Trinity doing Trinity things just finds that landing. And all for her team. That's why she came back. 27 perfect tens in her illustrious career. The record is 28. If Florida advances like it appears that they will, she'll have a, another chance in the final to perhaps tie or even set a new record in collegiate competition. It's hard to understate her contributions to this sport. Big, Victoria Wynn is their last falter. Big moment, she's gonna throw the one and a half twist. She's worked all season long for this ball. Yeah. And there it is. Wynn coming after the 9-9 comes in for Trinity Thomas who stepped back just slightly.